Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Power Pill Way series, Excel series. This is gonna be a video response to Mr. Excel and Excel's phone duel. Uh, it's gonna be for the trick 28. Find early date from list of days given uh, using two criteria. This was uploaded on the 19th of September of 2009, and they were using Excel. 2007 I believe we're gonna be using Excel 2010 and we're gonna be using the latest version of power period we're gonna be using the 11.0.3 now I have the data set here I'm gonna just select the range of the data set I'm gonna copy it it's on the clipboard right now I'm gonna click here where it says power period window now you can see here clipboard. I click here where it says clipboard and hit paste. It's gonna paste the information that I have on the clipboard, uh, which is a table. This table that's right here. I'm gonna name this table table. I'm gonna use the first row as column headers. Hit OK. Once it's done loading, I'm gonna use a pivot table to analyze analyze this data and click here. I'm gonna insert the pivot table here and now I'm gonna set this up so I can actually just select the criteria. I'm gonna drag and drop sales rep and customer here as slicers I'm gonna take them out of this so I can choose them here and then I'm going to create a formula that will return the first encounter between Mr. Chin and E-Trade. So, it's going to be, this is formula that you can actually think of. Let's go here where it says new measure, new measure, uh, name this encounter. And here, the name of the formula of the function is actually first date. Just like that. As the argument, I actually just need to input the dates uh, column, and this is this one. Click OK, and that is it. Now you can see here that the format that is giving me is not the best one, so I'm going to change this. Here, edit measure, go here where it says date, and I'm going to choose the format that I want. I want this one. I hit OK. I wanted to place this pivot table in a better place, so I'm going to put it here. Let's test the solution. I want it to be Mr. Chin, which is here, and E-Trade. It's showing me January the 19th of 2011, 2008. Let's compare that solution to the MINIF, and that is correct. It's giving me the solution that I wanted. And that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, what I want you to know is that with this function that you can see here, you can combine this with several scenarios just to analyze big data, just to actually see uh, any type of trends depending on this date. Uh, so if you guys have any questions regarding this or how it can be uh, uh, used in real life scenarios or situations, just let me know. Uh, Leave your comments in the section below. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.